Street during the time when Joe Douglas lived on Hill Street. I remember living in the same house my grandfather owned. I also played in the front yard where I was told he passed on to eternity. Family oral stories embedded in hearts and minds of, is a great source of information. Even though some family information is not recorded, the memories will always bloom within the garden of our hearts. Let me say again that Douglasville holds many memories of Douglasville for myself. This memory is when, was, is when my father was in the military and I lived with my mother and sister at 18, 816 Hill Street, close to one of the Joe Douglas home sites. But one of my best memories is about a man named Jesus. You hear me now? That's about right. a man named Jesus. Amen. Amen. And Mr. Brown. <laughs> you see, this man, Mr. Brown, who lived next that. door to us, would give us cookies and candies as we played outside. He was always good to the kids in the neighborhood. We were amazed at watching him fill his trucks with gas from pumps in front of his house. But anyway, this one day he called for Jesus. Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Come here, Jesus. Well, a man came from the backyard, and then they began to talk. Well, now as kids, we became confused, because we wondered how the man we saw could be Jesus. We thought Jesus lived in the sky, but still we told our mother that we just saw Jesus. <laughs> Our other cousin and Mr. Brown's grandson, Philip Brown Jr., verified that we did see Jesus. And then, yeah, he did. we saw Jesus. He talks to Grandpa all the time. <laughs> well, <laughs> Mama came outside, and we pointed to the man and said, there he is. But we say he sure don't look like the picture on our wall. <laughs> I can't remember when Mama became laughing. She came outside to see what it was. She said, oh, how you doing, Mr. Brown? Hey, how you doing, Jesus? Oh, my Lord, we was really mixed up now. <laughs> we was mi mixed up more than ever, was at first, because we wondered, <laughs> we wondered how and why would Jesus come down out the sky and work for Mr. Brown <laughs> every day and go home every evening. <laughs> And we wanted to know, did Jesus live in Douglasville? If he did, I come and lived up in the sky. <laughs> anyway, then we finally figured out that he was one of Mr. Brown's employees. <laughs> that was really a memory I will never forget. Then we kept looking at that picture on the wall, and then we kept remembering that man we saw. There's something wrong here.